BC, how are we? Thanks for joining me again. Um, bit of a non-schedule stop today. Um, I went on a bit of a charity store um, road trip yesterday, just within my local area. Um, you know, kids are back at school, misses at work, I had a day off. What else am I going to do? So, yeah, I didn't want to go to any record stores. There's only many around me anyway. Only one, two. Um, just because I don't want anyone to spend a couple of dollars on a, each item, really. So, I just thought, you know, I had a few record stores in my on my radar. And I thought I might just go around to a few and check it out. Um, and I had a bit of a mini haul, uh, which I'm stoked with because it's been a long time getting some vinyl. So I got some vinyl, uh, CDs, and a couple of tapes. So the first charity store I went to, which actually wasn't on my radar, but I don't know how I ended up near there. I don't know. It was uh, the Australian Red Cross um, charity store, which was only one in my area. Get these complimentary bag, or not complimentary, 20 cents for the bag, but I like that. Yeah, thanks for your purchases, and then um, fill it up with donations and take it back. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Um, so I went into there, I've been in there quite a few times. Um, I don't think I've ever bought a, a vinyl there in an album, vinyl album there. Um, mostly if I, I bought, a, I bought some CDs there. Um, anyway, just actually looked because. They've got some, the records are always on the ground there. Um, same place, so I didn't think, uh, I went to the CDs first and there wasn't much there. I thought, you know, just go have a look at the records. And there was a new little batch. Had probably this much of the same rubbish there. But this much, the first little bit when I started looking from this way to that way, of this new edition and I was stoked. Um, so I'll show you those. So this one, a blind buy, but definitely something you got to pick up. You look at that cover. Um, so this is an Aussie band called Taste. Um, Knights of Love. Now this is a, I guess a hard and heavy rock 70s band. Um, this came out in 77, I think. Yeah, 77. Something that would probably fit into Corey's hard and heavy. Um, didn't know this band at all. But, you know, that cover, you got to pick it up. It's sort of a bit Black Sabbath-y. Queenish, um, basically they're a, a hard rock band. They only released two albums. This was their second one, and then they actually did a CD in mid two thousands. They might be playing it now. And I actually consulted um, yesterday um, our Australian guru for metal and hard hard rock, Leo. At too much metal is. Too much metal. Too much metal is barely enough. So check him out if you want to know anything about hard rock and metal. Um, this was like this, I did my trip yesterday and consulted him last night. I was going to do this video actually yesterday as a side note. Um, I was going to do this video yesterday, but came home and the power inexplicably had been turned off by the company. Wrong address. Anyway, that's sorted. Back online same day. Phew. Anyway, what was I talking about? Taste. Yeah, so I emailed Leo, and he got back to me today, or commented him, and yeah, of course he knew about them, and he had both albums, and yeah, so they were, Queen were quite, um, were uh, like them, and were actually asking them to, to tour with Queen, but these guys couldn't afford to go on tour with Queen. And Richie, Greg the Egg, Blackmore Rules, Richie really took these guys too, thought they were really tight, and they are, they're cool. Now, I'll do a little needle drop at the end of this video, so really stoked with that. These are all $2, these vinyls, so, oh, so stoked. <clears throat> um, Ricky Lee Jones, um, I've got her other album, which I can't remember the name, top of my head, I haven't listened, to, I only got these yesterday, I only listened to a couple of these. Um, so yeah, that's just a nice voice, so it'd be interesting to check this out. So as I'm clicking through, yes, that, that was new, that was new, and yeah, ZZ Top Club. Cool. This is like a extended, it's got it's an EP with a few songs there, like extended mixes. So very stoked to get that, find that there, which never found, found any vinyl in this place before, so so stoked. Yeah. Simon and Garfunkel, awesome, greatest hits. There's actually two of them I found. Um the, the other greatest hits. 
I've got these both, but these will be good either trade or VCLT. And the last one I found before the, all the uh, Mario Lenza and Ray Conniff and all that sort of started again <laughs> um, was this, which is very, very stoked. Black Sabbath. Live at last. Uh, I'm not sure why it's live at last. Is it the first live album they released? I don't know. Um, this is on the Australian Seven Records, which obviously made records. But their Channel Seven is a one of the major TV net stations in Australia. Um, I've actually my greatest hits, Black Sabbath, which is a great uh, compilation, which I keep teasing Andy Andy's Vinyl Den about. Every time I show it, because he's after it, um, that's on the same label as well. And yeah, this only spun a couple of songs of this, but it sounds mighty good to me. Pretty good track list there, and it's nice to hear Ozzy talking and stuff. So stoked to find that. All two dollars each at the Red Cross. Thank, no, no, thank you. Um, I didn't pick up any CDs there. Then I went to this sort of uh, it's not even antiques. It's just a a shop that opens for quite limited hours, I think like 10 till 2, and it's full of rubbish, really. But there is, I've actually got some vinyls from there before, not in the vinyl, sorry. Um, 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 not in great condition, but yeah, there were some CDs. Now, I actually can't remember which ones. I've got them all mixed up in my bag, so I'll just show you the CDs. So I went to a few stalls, and I'll show you the CDs I picked up. Um... Uh, yep, bit of Joni Mitchell. This one's Turbulent Indigo. Uh, she's a bit of a blind spot artist for me. I, you know, um, I've actually heard her most famous one, the um, Something Blue, isn't it? I haven't heard that one yet. <coughs> Blink 182, Greatest Hits. Uh, Metal Mickey talk about these guys. I think their first album, that are very different to the rest of their stuff. Obviously, they're probably the most famous commercial commercially popular song was All the Small Things, but um, yeah, interested to hear that one. Bit of Coldplay. Viva La Viva, isn't it? Isn't it? That's, that's uh, Viva. Yeah, La Viva La Viva. Not um, Ricky Martin. That's Viva something else. Viva something else. Yeah. <laughs> Evanescence. Great album. These all, I think, uh, I think a, a dollar to two each. Um, Living End. This is just a single. Um, one of my favourite Australian bands. Love these guys. I'll be doing a video about them hopefully soon. Classic um, soundtrack, Thelma Louise. Um, really liked when I was listening to the, this on the, in the car as I was driving around in these stores. Uh, what was it? Mm, uh, the the um, BB, BB King song, Better Not Look Down, is pretty cool. Very cool. And there was another one that really stood out to me. I can't remember now. Damn. The Ballad of Lucy Jordan was good. Might have been uh, Wild Night. Maybe, I'm not 100% sure. Um, Martha Rees, possibly. Uh, this one, Evermore. Bit of Evermore. Yep. I'm not much of them. They're always pretty cool to hear. Uh, now I picked up a couple of Aces, which is great, because I've uh, been after more than just the you know, Morning Glory. Um, haven't got definitely maybe yet, but um, picked up some other ones and really keen to check these out. So this one, which is uh, Don't Believe the Truth. By the way, it's the first time I'm wearing a jumper in like two months. It's actually got a bit of a cold snap, which is quite welcomed here because it's been ridiculously hot. It's raining a bit now. Temperatures in the 20s, 22. So hopefully some of that, that sun I've grabbed from over here and sent it over to the Northern Hemisphere um, as VCLT has reached you guys. Um, killers. Sawdust. Not sure where this fits in their discography, but yeah, like a bit of Killers. And the other Oasis album is what? Uh, Helter Skelter Health Chemistry. I'm not sure what, what it's called. Anyway, we can see the title there. It's got a few names on the side there. Hilda Skelter, Big Brother Recordings, yeah, fair enough, and Health and Chemistry, don't know, something like that, <laughs> or maybe all of them. Alright, we'll keep going, this was a blind buy, I've got no idea about this one, so we'll see, Draw, just looked interesting, uh, you know, for a dollar, give it a go, no idea.
Um, but Jamiroquai, you don't hear much much mention about him, but yeah, he's pretty cool to listen to. Pretty sort of funky, isn't he? So, bit of Jamiroquai. What else have I pick up? Sarah Humphreys. I'm not sure. Is she Australian? I don't know. I don't know, actually, so... Um, yeah, I have heard the name, but I don't really know much about her. It looks like a singer-songwriter sort of female. Yeah, so, cool. Um, Total Rock. Just, I don't normally pick up many compilations, but this had bands like um, Train, Incubus, uh, Grinspoon, Powderfinger, Smash Mouth, um, Screaming Jets, Queens of Stone Age, Jeff Buckley, Something for Kate, You and I, Good Charlotte... Uh, we just dirt and teenage dirtbag. Um, disturbed. Uh, Papa Roach. Silver chair. So yeah, it seemed like a pretty good comp. And I picked up the black. I got that. I'm gonna give that to somebody who hasn't got it. <laughs> um, and I got a couple tapes. And you know, vinyl victim's niece. She would like to have this one. A oh, classic. You know, I've never seen that on cassette before. So sound of music. Great soundtrack. I got it on vinyl, had it multiple times on vinyl, it's very easy to find, but never seen it on a CD, and never seen it on tape, I thought, pick it up. That was, actually, I think you threw that for free, which is probably about the right price for it. And, um, picked up a Mark Knopfler, um, tape. Actually, I noticed just, I was leaving the store, it's on the Vertigo, no, yeah, Vertigo label. Um, hasn't got the spinning things on it, <laughs> like the albums, but, yeah, sort of happy with that. No idea where this fits in, his whole life or you know career or whatever you call it local heroes so yeah i've never had one of these sort of sort of, sort of this sort of packaging with cassettes before so it's to hear that and today i just um i head up just to the local retail sort of record music store jb hi-fi um because i was sort of it's gonna maybe buy a new album a brand new one um i was thinking of these guys and buying this because i don't actually have this in any media and i needed to get it been hard to find on vinyl as a um, you know you use original copy sort of thing so just pick up a CD even the a new one it wasn't even there as new anyway and it would have been in the forty fifty dollar range so can't unload that on that so I just got the CD so I'm very happy to finally have that and picked up my first um, album of the Saints so just a classic these guys are pioneers of the punk rock whole genre really they actually just reading a little bit about them before I come on here. Saints, punk rock, sort of Ramones, like sort of our versions of our version of the Ramones. They're actually the first outside US punk rock band to release an album. So prior, they released this. This was in '77. So the Clash released London Calling, and Sex Pistols released theirs in '77 too. But these guys released theirs before the Clash and the Sex Pistols. Punk rock, hard hitting, just forensic sort of guitar and. You know, high tempo punk rock. So pioneering guys, really in the genre, the Saints. So check them out if you're into punk rock and you don't know these guys. I'm sure you do. Anyway, so we'll, I'll do those couple needle drops. That's what I've got. Um, all right. So this is so this is the band Taste. Really stoked about um, this song. Boys will be boys, which I thought was like the Choir Boys song that they covered this song, but it's not. Actually, it's different. Tense and trouble, long and thin. Aggie wears boots right up to here. Might be seen in the discotheque. The latest that's been dumped is here. Streets are making the cars. unedited needle drops and this is probably my favorite song on the album track two side two just as the water flows
track three on side two. Witches Brew. So yeah, anyway, that was me. Thanks for tuning in again. Line avoid trigger. Take care of yourselves and keep rocking.